Look at that big oak tree right there. It's beautiful. It was really pretty colors for the lease fell off, but I might mow detect over there on that point here in a week or so. There's got to be some stuff out there. I saw an old road bed going up the hill over there. There might be an old house foundation up in there, but I'm going to dump on this side of the road, and I'm going to get down in here and try to find some vintage marble so I'll get back on my first farm. Later. All right. Here recently in the last month, I made some videos here. This is newer trash than what I normally dig in. I'm walking through here down to the older trash and I'm gonna do a little bit here. So I'll get back on a few fun, see if I can't find another one of these Japanese plastic figures. These were awesome. I found it right in here. I'll look around. There's gotta be more of them. I'll get back if I see anything later. No, this is odd. But I found some older things right over there. I can't remember what I found. I think I found a piece of a salt glaze crock over there. And I'm going a little bit deeper through this brick layer. You see it there. And here's a cork bottle. And that's older. It's like a prescription bottle. I would guess it's unembossed there. It's blowing in them old. So that's a hundred year old bottle. Uh, maybe there's some older stuff down in here. I was looking through this top layer. I just raked this out too. It's a Fanta, but it's embossed. You know, it's from the late 60s. I No deposit, no return. But it's a cool looking bottle. I'd say it's from like 1966 or 67. Later, I'll get back if I see anything else. Well, I'll move from over there at the main pile of that junk. Come over here. Behind this rock, thought I, there's got to be some stuff backed up into this. It was standing over this hill. You can see it going up through there. I got a license plate out of there. It's 1958. And look here. Right here is another game piece. The hotel from the Monopoly. This is the second one of these I've found in the last few months. Digging in the ground and dumps. Bunch of people must have had these later. All right, I'm heading down into the main parts of this dump where I can find vintage marbles. That's what I'm always looking for, not bottles and stuff. But I'm gonna look, I found some nice ones right here where I'm standing in the last month. And I'm gonna look around and we'll see what we'll get. I didn't, I was hoping to get into a pocket of them up there in that first spot, but I don't see any later. Well, I've been in this area right here for close to 45 minutes and I haven't seen a marble till just now. I was trying to find one. I think I'm going to move it, but this one looks nice. I haven't seen any around it or nothing, so I'm going to go and try to get onto a hotter spot. Maybe right up there. We'll see. We'll see what this is. Hopefully it's not cracked up. It looks like an electric blue alley swirl right there. It looks good. Let me... Wipe it off here. Come right out of that, see that real rusty layer? I might do a little bit more here, but there's just not a, enough of them showing up. Oh yeah, that looks real nice. It's hard, I don't wanna take my glove off. But yeah, that's nice. Heck, that's a day maker. Look at that right here. Wow, all right, that's a good one. Later. You can probably hear in the background, it's just pouring now. Get home, get these cleaned up, was gonna eat lunch and get back up there and it's raining. That stinks, huh? But here's this marble. You can see how nice it is. Look at these little wisps, wisps of color. Look at that right in there. That's so cool. I get, it's a speck of dirt. It's wet mint, that's nice. Nice marbles in there. Later. Yeah, I moved over here, see how much these are and nice this is and i mean i found right below this big tree right there is where i found that i'll put the video up at the end a peltier tiger marble laying right in there and i found some amazing marbles all around that tree all around it all up in there on that flat tons of marble kings and then there was swirls up in here and vitros and alleys and there's got to be marbles in here too so and look how much easier <laughs> See, there's a nice la loose layer. There should be marbles all through here. Man, that's a big piece of... Uh, that's a rock.
All right, I'll get back if I see any more. We're looking for vintage marbles, not really bottles. This looks excellent. And it's right in an area where I found a bunch of nice ones, so I'll get back later. Well, I'm glad I moved over here from that other spot. I got the hole opened up. You can see you got a nice wall going right in the right layer of trash, right where I found marbles. I raked one out, and then I had this undercut a little, and this caved down, and another one's in the cave in. And they both look awesome. We'll do this one first. You see it? Come right out of this dark soil, and that other one's in the clay. Look at this swirl. It's another alley. Let's see. This looks beautiful. Hopefully it's not chipped or cracked. Oh, that looks good. It's real navy blue clear base with like a gray streak around the edges. That's real, really nice. This would be a pre-1949 marble made in West Virginia. I'd say by Ali Agate. They were in operation from 1929 to 1949. That's nice, folks. That makes my day right here. You can see that gray in there and that real unique color of blue in a real nice condition. That's a beauty. This is the marble from the last clip. I thought I'd give you a closer up look. Real nice. Look at that color right in there. That's beautiful. Later. Had another one. You can see, look at this just layer. If there's, there's a few right here that I saw there's more in this wall. I just got to stop stop it from caving in and just be able to sustain the hole. But see it? It's right here. Looks like a vitro agate maybe. That's what it looks like. See, it's clear base. See, let me wipe it off and I'll get... Yeah, that's really nice. That's like a Phantom Conqueror, like one of the green ones. See how clear base it is there? You can see it clearly right there. That's just wet mint too, real nice color on it. That's another nice one. Oh, I'm gonna clean this out and um, I'll see if I can't get a few more nice ones later. I got another one right out of this rust layer. Looks like a bumblebee to me right here. That's what it is, man, this is nice. Man, that's a nice one. We put it off here real quick. Oh yeah, that's be that's a beauty. Look at the purple and the white. That's a good one. I found lots of these, eh, but that's still worth three or four dollars, maybe even five on that one. That's a beauty. Wow, that's probably a five or six dollar one actually. Real nice condition. I don't see any damage. No cracks, man. Look at that lavender patch up here on the top. Look at that. Wow, that's beautiful. That's one of the nicest bumblebees I've found in a while. Different color purple there. Man, thanks. If we can get some more. Alright, here's this bumblebee. Very cool looking one. And I'll take it in and show it to you under a black light. The yellow turns like a chartreuse orange. It's crazy. That's nice condition. I gotta clean it, soak it a little bit more. The yellow's got a little staining on it but that's not damaged so it'll come clean but it's crazy how this changed colors I'll show you next well it's easy to capture the ones that fluoresce with uranium glass with this black light but these ones are hard to capture the glowing but look at that lavender patch it like it looks like it's look at it right there and it's fluorescent chartreuse orange you can see it's not yellow for sure but it's hard for me to capture it here with this but man this is beautiful under a black light look at that right there i thought i'd show you i can't really capture as cool as it really looks but it's cool later look at this here's another piece of enamelware this is one of the places where there's just enamelware everywhere down there there's thousands of pieces of it there 20 yards below me but there's another piece it's everywhere here in the ground i mean everywhere well, i don't even know how i see some of this stuff man that almost buried it but here's a little army man but it's got damage one leg's breaking off but it's a seated one that's why i'm finding marbles there's toys staying away in here too see i'm getting cave-ins but that ain't bad see it's a little gi 
he probably went in a little plastic jeep or in some kind of military vehicle that's kind of cool it's a shame it's broke or i would have taken that you know i got another one and it looks good but look at the layer look at the bottle sticking out it's i dig in and 1930s to late 1960s trash to find these marbles they're everywhere you see it it looks like a multiple color cat i already kind of looked at it it looks nice right there this one was caked up see right there's what i saw flash it's got orange and like yellow this looks nice see what we got here this looks like another day maker oh yeah look at the color on that that is amazing look look at this side's even better oh man that's a scorcher that's a five or six dollar marble look at this there's like maroon swirls through that side man that's nice wow that's another good one folks i'm on it now so i'll be coming back here this week i went to the river this morning and the last three or four days the water's been up just enough that it's ruined it so i'll try to air ahead on too maybe tomorrow or the next day later check out that beautiful cat eye that's a beauty real nice condition look at that kind of wisping right in there that's a nice one i was happy to find that Looks like a flower. Later. Well, there's going to be some good stuff come out of here this week. I just got a shooter, but unfortunately it's broke. Um, I can see the damage off of it, but look at that. Oh, man. Oh. Folks. That's a... Whoa. You know, right when I get into the marbles, I get a cave in, but that's not bad. This is a like a Marble King hybrid Cub Scout. It would have been like a, uh, that'd be worth 25 bucks if it was whole. That is a stinking shame. Some of them are broke. I'll get a nice one like this eventually. I guess them ones I found are almost just as nice, but this is spectacular. That's nuts. Man, that's one of the nicest marbles I've seen for a while like from this age of stuff it's like a 60s marble king marble 1960s maybe late 50s that license plate right over there was 58 so you know kind of gives it a date well anyway i'll get back to you that's too bad later i saw another marble pull out of the side wall i see blue on it it might just be a solid one i think it is yeah it's nice though it's just a solid color blue one, but that's nice. Real nice condition. Nice. Be in a pocket. There's another blue one. Seconds after that. Last one, it looks like the same kind. There must be a whole bag of them. That has other color to it, but that's more like staining from being in the dump. I guess that does have another little swirl to it. That's an odd thing. Huh. Another one. I just had a cave in. I mean, there's a bunch of these Dr. Peppers coming out. They're all break. There's another breaking ones right there, but I got another marble. There's marbles everywhere back in here in that layer, but see, right before I turned this on, all this cave down. But right here, it looks like a marble king. It is. It's a green one, but it's a nice marble king patch and ribbon from the 1960s, made in West Virginia. It's nice real nice actually Later, I had a cave in and this marble fell from clear up here so they're from the top of the surface here all the way down in and I ain't even under the layer right here it's another marble king it's just a blue one but it's pretty stinking nice there's marbles everywhere here folks this is gonna get good this week I'll be able to come right in this spot go that way go up in there go this way and make videos here for a week and get a video every time I can tell that's nice. That's real nice. Real deep blue, real nice. Later. Here's another cat eye. It's probably a Marble King. Right here. We'll come back in my next video and dig right here. There's some good stuff in here. See, that's, that's nice. 
nice cat eye. Laid up. You know, I'll do a little bit of live raking here, um, but you can see the age of bottles coming out. There's a Pepsi right there. That would have been a nice bottle. The condition of it's great if it wasn't break. But right there's a marble, and that's all missed shooter size. It's another green one, but man, it looks nice. Man, there's a lot of marbles in here. Look at that. Man, that's, that's actually a beauty. You know, not a lot of color, but super nice condition. Two colors of green, bigger than average. Wow. Can't argue with that. Later. You know, there's an ACL bottle right there in the sidewall. I just now noticed it. Um, it looks like a Ma's Old Fashioned Root Beer. It is, man, that's perfect. Look at that, how perfect that is. Moundsville, West Virginia. Man, that's just perfect. Ma's Old Fashioned Root Beer. The kind that mother used to make. Seven ounce bottle. Very cool. Later. Yeah, I got another one here. I stayed a little bit after I did my closing. I was trying to eat, get in a hole wide and then I did, but I just had a cave in. But right before it caved in, I raked out a marble. It was back in there, but I had to pull it when I heard it cracking. It's blue, it might be a marble king. It's right here. What the heck is this? Oh, that's a swirl. Um, this looks pretty nice. Yeah, it's pretty nice. Man, that's, hold on, this is nicer than expected. That's got a, that might even be a Christensen. It's bigger than average, see, it's clear base. That's a clear base with a milky swirl, hold on. All right, this is pretty nice. It's not wet mint, but it's nice enough to frame. It's got minute play dings on it, just a few little ones, but not bad. Not bad, it's still real nice. That's a beauty, man. Man, there's nice birds in here. Well, I'm leaving now, and I will come back here and dig right in this area in one of my next videos. So if you like marbles, I'm on them here. And I've dug, you can see where I've dug all the way over through there. I've dug all up in there and all down through there, and there's been marbles consistently all over this dump, all the way down over the hill there. So nice day anyway, and an enjoyable day. Got some nice ones. Later.